Central Bureau of Investigation has filed a charge sheet against Congress leader Jagdish Teitler in the 39-year-old anti-Sikh riots case. Now, CBI officials have told CNN News 18 that fresh evidence has emerged against Teitler to establish the charge that he instigated the mob at Delhi's Pul Bangash Gurudwara, leading to the murder of three Sikhs. The charge sheet against Teitler has been filed in Delhi's Rouse Avenue court. Let's listen in to some reactions. हम आभारी हैं प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के और अमित शाह जी के जिनके चलते हुए सीबीआई ने ट्रैक्टर के खिलाफ चार्जशीट फाइल करी है 40 साल लगे ये चार्जशीट 40 साल पहले भी फाइल हो सकती थी परंतु कांग्रेस ने अपने नेताओं को जिन्होंने कत्लेआम किया था उनको बचाने की कोशिश करी और निरंतर उनको बचाते रहे और 40 साल तक उनके खिलाफ कार्रवाई ना हो पाई इसकी इनकी पूरी कोशिश रही और उसमें कामयाबी हुई परंतु आभार है मोदी जी का और अमित शाह जी का कि अब इनके खिलाफ कार्रवाई हो रही है All right, let's quickly go across to Arunima, who's on the phone line with me. Arunima, as we were also discussing earlier, uh, the bone of contention or rather the biggest challenge for the CBI is to in fact come up with those eyewitness accounts uh, who will prove that uh, on 1st of November, Jagdish Teitler was in fact present during the riots and not in the Murti Bhavan as he's been claiming. Yes, it is. it's a tough task before the CBI because uh, of the time that has elapsed, a lot of witnesses have passed away. Some of their witnesses before the charge sheet was filed had uh, recorded their statements, but they will not be available for cross-questioning. So how will the court appreciate that evidence is, is a big question. Second, uh, Jagdish Teitler has presented footage from Dudarshan uh, back then to prove uh, his case that he was at the Teen Murti Bhavan uh, from morning till afternoon of the 1st of November 1980. Says that, you know, uh, they have corroborated evidence to negate this plea by Jagdish Teitler. It will be a difficult case uh, for CBI to prove, but the officials are confident. They've cited about 10 witnesses, including, uh, uh, you know, Manjeet Singh GK, uh, the, the Delhi-based politician who, uh, who said that he has access to a sting operation done on uh, reportedly Jagdish Teitler, where the man is heard confessing to his role in the Pulbangash killing. But we'll have to wait and see what the court says uh, and how CBI really defends that three times they have filed a closure report in this case and fourth time they're, they're filing a charge sheet. And in fact, Arunima, that makes that the, the evidence has to be so strong that it should also override the flip-flops that the CBI has done because that is also something that the BJP has been harking on, saying that, you know, it was the co Congress party giving uh, title a refuge and that is why for over 40 years this case has not really reached any sort of finality. You know, the... Which the charge sheet has been filed includes the charge of bribery. The charge against Mr. Teitler made by uh, the victims is that he tried to buy over witnesses over these years, paid them hefty sums, and prevented them from testifying in court. Um, Surinder Singh, the Ganthi of the Fulbangash Gurdwara, was a key witness. CNN News 18, in fact, interviewed him a few years ago, and uh, he can record one. There was another witness. A California-based Sikh who testified that on the third of the all right, Nima, we'll Behold. try and uh, get back to you. In fact, right now, I'm also joined in by Manjitar Singh Sirsa of the BJP right now. Uh, Mr. Sirsa, a very, very significant step in this entire case has been taken today by the CBI. Uh, I know we've heard uh, Mr. R.P. Singh uh, also say that, you know, this is a case that has been pending for now nearly 40 years because of the Congress party. But how? what, what are the hopes now that there will be justice delivered to the families of those three Sikhs who were burnt to death? No, definitely we feel, first of all, of all, we are thankful to the CBI and to the CBI court who has recorded the statement of two witnesses. This, this is, first I would like to apprise you about this case. This case is the case in which Congress government had then given a clean sheet. The CBI has given a clean sheet way back. And thereafter, in 2014, we moved to uh, the CBI court. That was an uh, application filed by me as a general secretary of the district Gurdwara management committee claiming that we have two witnesses and those witnesses are those who have seen Arvind Kejriwal, oh, sorry, uh, uh, Jagdish Teitler right. attacking the Gurdwara and killing the innocent people. Thereafter, those witnesses, uh, CBI withdraw that clean sheet and start reinvestigation. And thereafter, those two witnesses had uh, given their statement in the court before the magistrate. And now... Jagdish Teitler has been charged. And 
we from the day one had been saying that he was the main accused he was a perpetrator of 1984 killings and he should be behind the bars like sajjan kumar and soon you will see jagdish titler also accompanying sajjan kumar in jail and thereafter mr kamal nath will also be there absolutely also mr sirsa how crucial is it now for the cbi to come up with concrete evidence which in fact uh, uh delivers justice and in fact whatever the cbi is now trying to achieve uh, helps them to achieve as far as uh, jigdish titler is concerned no but the witness is there there are two witnesses those who were there at the gurdwara premises when those innocent people were killed so cbi has a, a, a credible witness